Seek Builder allows you to show restriction enzymes that have cut sites along your sequence. You can show individual enzymes by navigating to the enzyme names in the curtain and checking the box next to the name. Alternatively, you can use enzyme selectors to show groups of enzymes that meet specific criteria. So here I've applied enzymes that leave a 5' prime overhang. To see more details about the selector, click the selector name, right click, and then select Show Selector Manager. The Selector Manager shows me exactly what criteria were used in creating the selector filter. So you can see that this selector only looks for enzymes with specific recognition sites and that leave at least a one base overhang on the five prime end of the cut site. I can edit these settings, say to look for a minimum overhang of three bases, or to look for enzymes with degenerate recognition sites. And you can see that with each change I make, the resulting list of enzymes that meet these criteria on the right updates. If I click OK, this changes the selector settings and saves those settings for future use. But for now, I'm going to click Revert, and that restores the original selector settings. Now, you can also create a new custom selector. To do this, click the New button. And here we're going to name our selector. Let's say we want to make a selector that looks for enzymes that have exactly two cut sites on our sequence. So we'll name the selector Two Cut Sites. Then we need to choose the selector type. There are a few options to choose from. For this example, we're going to pick frequency. And for cut frequency, we want exactly two sites. So I'm going to uncheck range and then enter the value two here. So now that that's set up, I can click OK to save the selector. And now you can see that the new selector is listed in the curtain. So we can apply that by checking it. And because we actually have two selectors applied here, Seek Builder is showing me enzymes that leave a one base five prime overhang and cut in exactly two places along the sequence. Enzyme selectors are shared between Seek Builder and GeneQuest. This means that I can apply the selectors I've created and modified in Seek Builder to my GeneQuest documents. To apply a selector in GeneQuest, double click on Enzymes Restriction Map in the curtain. And in the resulting dialog, choose a selector from the dropdown. We'll select our new selector, click OK, and then drag the enzymes method to the assay. If you have further questions about using enzyme selectors in LaserGene, or any other questions about our software, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.